Hey everybody, what is up? It's Sintel. Finally, after months of work, I'm releasing my Monopoly room. So hope you come, check it out, have some fun, bring your friends. All right, let's take a look at the controls. So the first thing is this little display in the center. It's gonna tell you your main, what you're doing. This is gonna tell you how much money you have. Okay. Now the dice, you press that with your hand and the dice open up in the center. That way nobody messes around with the dice. Okay. The B button is for buy. If you land on a property, you got enough money, you can buy it. Okay. And the arrow is for end your turn. Even if you roll doubles, you always have to end turn because there's other things that you could do between that. So just remember, if you're done, you bought it, whatever, hit end and then the next person can play. All right. The magnifying glass is the search button. That lets you interact with other properties besides the one you're standing on. So this lets you mortgage properties, initiate trade with people, buy and sell houses, pretty much everything you want to do for the property you're not standing off. And that one with the arrow, that lets you advance to the next property. Okay. Now all this information you're seeing in the center of the console is about the property that the searcher is on, which is that blue beam beacon in the back, okay? So that's telling me right now, player one owns it, here's the rent, um, how many houses. That red button, if you own it, is an M for mortgage. Okay, you can mortgage the property so that you can raise a little money, but you don't collect rent. Plus is to buy houses if you own a monopoly. Okay, it buys the whole the whole group in this. I didn't have enough logic to be able to do separate ones. And then minus is to sell houses. So you can buy houses, sell houses, and then mortgage properties. Now we're gonna get into trade. Trade is complicated. So once you have the search open, if you own the property and you hit T, it'll add it to the trade queue. You can trade one property at a time, okay? And then trade advance means, see first what happens is you make a trade and then when you're done, you hit the trade advance and the next player can make a counter offer. And once they're done with a counter offer, if you accept it, it'll swap the properties. Otherwise you just hit the search and it'll disappear. So let's see how that works, okay? So I hit the search and I'm moving this to a property that I own. So I am on the blue team, okay? If I try to hit trade right now, nope, sorry, I don't own it, okay? So we gotta advance that to a property that I do own, the blue one, right? So I hit T and now you can see property 21 is in the trade queue, right? Now I'm moving it up to the next person because I'm a nice guy, okay? A red property, okay? Now you're gonna see that if I try to trade that, somebody it's gonna say somebody else has to enter the counter offer. So now my other player here, she's just entered property 13 into the queue. And now, see how it's jumping back and forth that's telling you, hey, if you hit confirm right now, it's gonna swap these two properties. Boom, trade complete. So let's take a look. So remember that that first property was originally owned by the red team and now it's blue. So I took possession of that. And now this property is red. Trade worked, awesome. Last thing to mention about trade, if you go to the go space and hit T on that, that is how you trade money. That will trade in $50 increments, okay? So you can trade money and a property. A ton of circuit work went into this room. If you want to see this, I will be publishing the room as a separate Monopoly circuits room. So go ahead, check that out, walk through it. If you want to learn about circuits, feel free to ask me. Um, I'm always on Discord. I go to the Maker Pen classes on Sundays. So yeah, just hit me up and I would love to share some of this uh, cool stuff I did from circuits. See ya!